I'm going to show you how you can integrate Google Translate and Airtable. I'll be using this tool by miniextensions.com and I will add it all to this in the description. So the goal of this tool is to start with some text in an Airtable field and uh, that text can be in any language and then translate that using Google's APIs and then add it to a new field and um, you decide which language it gets translated to, but it's auto-translated uh, from the left language. So you don't have to specify the left language. So let me show you how this tool runs. So let's remove this so that I can show you. Um, so you would start by getting your Google Cloud Service account JSON file contents. So what this is, is this is a way for us to talk to Google servers. So if you click on this, um, URL right here, it'll take you to a setup. You will have to start by creating a project with Google and then enabling billing for it. You follow the directions in here and then enabling the, um, the translation API. Make sure you do that. And then the last part here is to create a service, service account key. Um, so once you are done with all the steps up there, if you click on this, you'll be taken to a page um, where you can create a service account and just pick a new service account. Or if you have an existing service account that you want to choose, you can choose one and select JSON and then create one. And then um, I'm not going to create one because it would show my secrets, but um, you can just sort of follow the steps, create that file. And once you create that file, just take that file and open it in any text editor. Um, and then just copy the contents, just like select all. So um, select the whole text in the file and then just paste it in here. And what we'll do is we'll take that and we'll be able to communicate with Google. So after that, set up the API key for Airtable. Click on that to find that. Then base ID, click on here to find how to find the base ID and then your table ID and then optional a view ID. So the next couple of fields here are so they're about the settings of which field you're translating from. So original text corresponds to this field right here, and then translated corresponds to this field right here. And I get to choose the destination language, so what, what it's uh, translated to. So let's go ahead and run this. There you go. So translated the text. A um, couple of last things here. You can also choose to run this uh, regularly so that it runs every hour or so. And you can also run this with a webhook. A webhook is a URL. Every time the URL is opened, this job will run. So what we just did with clicking that button would be replicated by just opening a URL. This is useful if you want to run it in a zap or if you want to run it after a form is submitted, an Airtable form.